My name is Tommy Gomes. I'm a fourth generation commercial fisherman. It's a hard life, but it's in my blood. I want you to meet the farmers of the sea who work so hard. And here's Tommy Gomes to tell you about another incidental catch that tastes every bit as good as any toothfish and there's enough to go around. So the Monchong, deep water sickleback palm fret, relatively unknown in the United States mainland, but a delicacy in Hawaii. So using the short stout knife with the point to get through this leather type skin, I'm gonna lift the pectoral fin and I'm gonna puncture the skin. I'm gonna run it up around the skull. I'm gonna make a tail cut using just the tip of the knife. Now we get into the meat and we're just gonna run it up. We're gonna cut through the bones and we're gonna flip it over. We have a beautiful filet. One thing that's very cool about this fish is the rib cage. They're not really bone-like, they're more hollow and very brittle and very thin, almost like a tongue depressor at your dentist. And you can see that they break apart very easily. And you can deep fry those and actually eat those. And we're gonna grab the skin and we're just gonna go nice and easy, wiggle, 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 flip it over, bring it back, and there you have a beautiful piece of filet. Here's Captain Pete Grillo's take on Monchong. My favorite fish is the Monchong. Mine as well. So what, what can you tell us about Monchong? Now I know it's not a targeted species, but we're gonna touch base on that too. But tell us a little bit about the Monchong. So apparently so I've heard in New Zealand, they call it black snapper, kind of a catchy name. A good friend up there, Pete Close, likes to say uh, it's like if a halibut and a black cod had a baby. <laughs> That's what Monchong tastes like. Yeah. Delicious, moist, delicious, doesn't dry out. You, you almost can't overcook it. 